Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Ivo, and welcome back to the Minecraft Survival World. And as you can see, there are a lot of residents here. Yeah, there's a lot of that happened while I was uh, off camera. A lot of breeding has happened, a lot of babies were produced. And each each room has um what happened? Each room has two beds, so there's six rooms on the first floor, six rooms on the second. So that means there's two beds times six rooms, which is twelve, and for the extra twelve up there, that means there's twenty-four villagers here. There's a total of twenty-four, and there's gonna be a lot of iron golems and cats that are gonna roam around this area. And there's also I put the workstations around. <clears throat> I gotta clear my throat because my being scratchy. Or we'll just sleep for the night. And today's episode, we're gonna be preparing to fight the big boss in tomorrow's episode, which will be the Ender Dragon. Yes, we're gonna be fighting the Ender Dragon in the next episode. So be be sure to stay tuned for that. But today's episode, we're gonna prepare ourselves for this fight. So. I did a lot of breaking of the lectern. I don't know if there's a... I don't know if there's something with it. Uh, if the lectern is in here. I will see. Go real slow. But I'm pretty sure the lectern should be in here. No, that's a bookshelf. No, we need a lectern. Uh, I don't think I see it. Oh wait, here it is. 130, 130. What, how many times did I break it? Times broken. Uh, dropped. It's at the very bottom. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how many times I broke the lectern, but I think I broke. That's like a hundred times I broke it. For real? Is it? I think it's like 130 that it said, but is this the note? That's our master librarian. This is the librarian. That's selling a Sharpness 5 enchantment book for 37 emeralds, which is it's a good deal for a huge enchantment. I, usually I'll get like 64 emeralds for this, but you know, that's really great. But first things first, I'm going to disenchant my, uh, my diamond sword since it only has on um, breaking. So where's the grindstone? I think it's like somewhere. Over here, yep. Let's disenchant this. And we'll see what our decoy sword will give us. And I need lapis. I think I have lapis right over here. Let me turn off that thing. There, uh, let's grab three. And we're gonna do one enchant. We're also gonna use mending on our sword, and this is looting three. So we bought looting books from a librarian that I traded off camera and then I killed off that librarian with a bucket of lava and if you kill a villager with a bucket of lava it's not gonna ruin the repu reputation because they don't see that they killed them with it so they think it's a natural cause yeah let's get our decoy sword to see what we get we get on breaking for our decoy that's pretty great it's a, yeah it's the same thing see if we get anything smite 4 and looting 3 okay I would get rid of smite and looting, but I can't have sharpness. Sharpness cannot combine with smite. That's probably the worst thing right there. Yeah, sharpness cannot combine with smite, because smite is just like sharpness, but only for undead mobs like zombies, uh, zombie pig, piglins, uh, the wither, wither skeletons, skeletons. They're for undead mobs, so we don't want that. I think we're going to get a lot of XP out of this. I expect that. I think I need a little more XP. I think I'll trade some salmon with this guy. Yeah, there we go. To get enough to get another enchant. Since that one was, it was great, but the smite just really just ruined it. Let's see what we get now. Get knockback. Okay, I don't want knockback. Knockback is really, really bad. Don't want that. But until we get a good enchantment, we also have another thing that we that I unlocked off camera with more trading, and this is the armor right here. Now he's selling me di full diamond armor of each piece. Which 
chest plate and helmet. Helmet has unbreaking one and protection two. Which is great. I love it. We're gonna buy it right now. There's our first diamond helmet. I think that completes our set right now. So we'll just wear this. Now we have we're fully diamond. Full diamond armor and I almost hit a villager without even noticing. But that's this is great. So I think we can find another one if we want to combine the powers of the enchantment, but we'll just leave it at, as it is. And we're going to buy that sharpness book from that librarian. Uh, three iron golems. Let's go and buy that sharpness book. Yes, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Sharpness five, and I'm saving mending for this sword as well. And there's three iron golems here. I suppose it's three. Yeah, it's three. So... I only want two, because two is good enough, so what I do with this guy is, I just do this. I can find the right spot for him. Yep. I dump him in a bucket of lava. Just like that, just to watch him die. And yeah, I think he's at his final stage of dying. He's really cracked. He's gonna die any minute now. I only need uh, two golems. I only need three, but this is kind of like a makeshift iron farm. See, we got 17 iron from killing off golems. It's kind of good. We'll plant a poppy down, because you know why not. And I'm going to just keep trading with the villagers and get more experience until I get a good enchantment on my sword. So I'll be right back with you guys. Again with Smite, dude. Oh my lord. Why is it always smite? Why can't we just like remove one enchantment instead of like removing all of it? That that's kind of pointless, man. Like, what the frick? Now I have to disenchant again. It's just a hard life. I'll just keep trading till I get what I want, which is just unbreaking or looting or whatever is combined. There's Fletcher guy. This is kind of ridiculous at this point. Alright guys, so... We have fished for like like a good 10 minutes and we got two enchanted books. I think this... No, only... Yeah, we got two. I in, disenchanted one. It had piercing and uh... I think it was quick charge. And this one has protection four. A protection four which I can apply to... I think I got say my boots have protection for us so I think I'm gonna apply it to my chest plate so I'll just do that and we got plenty of fish and we also got a name tag so we can name tag our cat or our horse or whoever we want to name tag for now and there's three iron golems so one has to die some um sometimes there could be four because I had four iron golems and the villagers are gonna go to sleep so I'm gonna go to sleep with them not in that way, not in that way. I'm gonna just take I'm gonna just take one of their beds. If you know what I mean. Look at that, we got four iron golems. We already killed off one, so one so another one has to die. Let's go this this guy. No, I do not want to set my hotel on fire. I just want this iron man. 22 iron. That's a lot. Well for me it is. He's about to die. Please don't walk into the lava. Oh, thank God. I thought they were gonna, like, yeah. Uh, what are they breeding for? There's already enough of them. Uh, what, what can I do? Put this, put this, put that, put that. Uh, can I level you up? Where's the fisherman? Fisherman, fisherman. Where is he? I think he's still in his house. Where is he? Come on. These rooms are so packed. Like, I don't know where all my villagers are. I think he's downstairs. He sleeps downstairs. I know that he does. Or did he, did he die or something? Like, hello? Where's my... Oh, there he is. It's like, he's all the way over here. What the heck? What are you doing over there? Alright, so we gave him that. I think we gave him a few more salmon and then we level up. But, for now, I want to check what my sword's gonna give me if I enchant it for this moment. Hopefully it's not smite, because I really, really don't want smite. Please, please don't smite. I'm breaking three again, okay? Please don't let it be smite. 
knockback too. I, you know, I don't want these very bad enchantments. Okay, knockback and what it does it knocks back your freaking uh the mobs more further. So yeah, that's the point of knockback, but I don't want knockback. I just want unbreaking three. Hello, can I get unbreaking? Just unbreaking three. And maybe anything else, man. Maybe sweeping edge if anything. Alright, seems that like we got sharpness four, looting three, and sweeping edge. Wow, that is a very, very good enchantment. Without unbreaking, that's fine. At least I have my sharpness five book and mending in the chest over here. And I'll retrieve these and I will disenchant the looting uh, effect. The looting uh, book. Yeah this, one, yeah, this one is the looting one. We'll disenchant that. And we're going to combine it to make a really good sword. Hopefully. Uh, this. Uh, that's a decent amount. And we're going to go combine this at our enchanting table at our house. So that we can make a really good godly sword. Make sharpness 5, looting 3. Um, no, there's no unbreaking. I'll get unbreaking soon, but... Sweeping Edge is a great enchantment. And we're just gonna... Hello Kitty? Still haven't gotten a name from him. Uh, yes, Anvil. Mending. And Sharpness. Just six levels. Which I'll take. The Anvil's about to break, so it's 100% okay. Look at that sword. That's a really good sword. Got plenty of emeralds, which I, where I don't know where to store. You gotta just store them over there in that chest. As soon as we get them breaking, this is gonna be a really, really good sword. Nonetheless. Let's put these in here. Look at all this emeralds, man. Looks pretty nice. And we're gonna eat our last golden carrot. We're gonna move on to the cooked chicken. So, yeah, we got a stack of this. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm going to do next. Alright, guys, so we are back with some cooking sand, and we're going to turn this into glass bottles. Because I already got one in my inventory, but that was for fishing. But we're going to need a lot of these. And then we're going to fill these up with water. Like this. Plenty of water right there. Stay hydrated. And what's we gonna do? Uh, I think we need nether wart. Yeah, we're gonna need a couple nether wart. Gonna need some blaze powder, which I have right here. What else do we need for the fight? Well, I can't think of anything else, so we're just gonna do this. Turn that into an awkward potion, so we can make this potion. Let's show you what that does later. I don't know if there's anything else that I need from here so we'll just wait for that just checking for other ingredients that i may need for this fight so we're gonna put the, nope not in the fuel slot but it's not just for use for the fuel slot you can also use it to brew your potions which is great uh i think we need something else yeah i think we'll need this we turn this into sugar because you know why not and Mixing blaze powder with knockwood potion will make potions of strength, which is really, really nice. And uh, you know what? I'm going to go grab my emeralds and buy some glowstone from that cleric villager we leveled up. We'll show you why in a second. Uh, all right. So where is he? Yeah, he's right here. He's holding on redstone, which I don't want. You're just going to buy glowstone from him. And uh, this is a block you saw in the nether. You'll see this in another a lot, but you can also buy it in the overworld from the villagers. And also, the wandering trader sells the glowstone for a cheaper price than the cleric does, which is kind of great because I, our friend never really shows up here. But what we can—it's not just a light source that we can use. We can also use fortune and uh, get glowstone dust out of it. Which, uh, yep, it gets four. Sometimes it drops two, sometimes it drops four, but we're gonna use this. In our potion brewing, and you'll see what glowstone dust will do to these two strength, three strength po potions. As you can see, it made strength two potions, which makes me a lot stronger. 
when I drink it, and strength potions are usually just potions that increases your attack damage. As you can see, I have a sharpness 5 sword, and it does 10 attack damage, which is equivalent to 5 hearts of health. And when I apply this, it gives me an extra 6 damage, which will do 16. And that means it will take 13, 13 hearts. Wait, no, no, not 13 hearts. What am I saying? Uh, I think it's 8 hearts of health away. So, yeah, that's pretty, pretty nice. Small glass right there, and we're going to use this to make more. And you know what? Here, put more of these so we can combine it with the sugar in our, uh, in our brewing sand. See, we'll make another potion that could kind of be worth using during the battle with the dragon. All right, so we'll mix this with sugar. You'll see what that makes in a second, but for now, I'm going to grab some redstone dust. So we can make the effect of the potion last a little bit longer. Glowstone usually, um, glowstone usually, glowstone dust in, in particular, usually gives an extra level to the, to the, uh, potion. And this makes swiftness potions, which makes you go really, f which swiftness m increases your speed, your walking speed or running speed, whatever it is. It just increases your overall speed in the game. See it, when applied to it goes up to 20% speed but you can also make this into a swiftness too which I think it's real potion makes you watch walk a little bit faster or run a little bit faster and what I'm gonna do with these potions is I'm gonna pull on my ender chest and I'm gonna store them in here just in case I want to when I get this out during the fight with the dragon and I don't know what other potion effects I will need if I'm going to fight the dragon oh yeah yeah, I'm going to need something else. All right, you know, I'll be right back. All right, I totally forgot my farmer sells glistering melons. Yeah, for four emeralds, I would guess. So we're gonna grab those. This is gonna be nice. So glistering melons. Oh, whoa! There's a black cat. I... No, do I have fish to tame that black cat? Black cats are kind of rare, I think. I think that's the rarest type of cat you can get. So we're just gonna grab our fish. No, not our chicken. Our extra chicken. We'll grab our fish and see if we can, uh, where did the black cat go? Oh, there he is. Oh, sorry. Come on, come on, kitty. Here he comes. All right, two fish. All right. All right, he's coming with me. All right, he's going to sit with his uh, new friend over here. Or brother, sister, whatever it is. I don't know if black cats are the rarest type of cats in Minecraft, but you know what? At least I got one. Yep, you can sit down right there. Nice. And he has orange eyes, too. Oh, that's, that's really nice. But yeah, so we're here. So like I was saying, glistering melons are not edible like normal watermelons are. But they do have a potion effect that you can apply to them in an enchantment. And not an enchantment table. In a brewing stand. Um, just gonna fill this up with water. Yeah, we should cut down the sugar cane. And I should make a sugar cane farm in the future, because, you know, I'm not gonna rely on all this sugar cane that I have laying around here. But we're just gonna put these in. Do we have. Grab a piece of nether wart. Uh, yeah. And we're gonna grab a piece of gunpowder as well. Because gunpowder can also be used in brewing potions. Man, these cats are adorable. No creepers are going to blow up my house this time. Make sure you do that right there. And I think I should change the color of their collars, but you know what? Nope, we'll do that off camera, but yep. And we're going to put a glistering melon, just one. Just one glistering melon. Didn't mean to put all three in there. Make sure these are awkward potions. Yes, they are. And we will put in the gunpowder after this is done brewing. Alright, so we got our potion of healing. It makes healing potions, but we're not gonna do that. Uh we need glowstone dust. Yeah, is it compatible with this? No, I do not want my gunpowder. Thank you. Is it compatible? Yes it is. So this, so glistering melons combined with aqua potions will make potions of healing. Or instant health potions as it says. So it just heals you in battle. Basically, and uh, I need my chicken.
I'm hungry. So yeah, it just heals you when you're very low on health. Yeah, instant health too, so we're gonna... Put gunpowder. That's another reason why to use glowstone dust there. It's compatible with healing and swiftness and other potions. So what does gunpowder do with um, potions like this? Well, gunpowder, as you'll see in a few seconds, I'm not going to spoil it, but it will make splash potions, which you can throw on the ground and it just heals you. As you can see, it's more effective if you throw the potion up in the air. It gives you the full effect instead of throw, throwing it on the ground, but you know what, that'll, that that's fine. Doesn't matter, but throwing it up in the air is a little more uh, suitable for that, so we're gonna put these glistering melons away. Nope, not my torches, my glistering melons. And, uh, you know, I'll just uh, give away these ink sacks to the, our, our librarian over at our uh, motel village, or whatever it is. <laughs> Alright, good morning, where's our librarian friend? Is he somewhere in these rooms? I don't want to disturb their privacy. I think. He may inhabit. Where does he inhabit? Dude, I don't know where he lives. So all over the place. Oh, there he is. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. Excuse me. No, wrong one as well. Dude, I don't know which room. I think he lives upstairs. 100%. He lives upstairs. Yep, he does. I'm gonna trade that. Get some, get some experience and just leave some extra, extra ink sacks. And there's one more potion that I will brew before we uh, fight the dragon. And I killed lots of ghast off camera like a few like a few days ago. And uh, you know what? We'll show you right now. A ghast. We killed 20 ghast with our looting three sword. Well, with our looting three sword in our main hand and the bow in the off hand since ghast. Are pretty far away and they retreat every time you get close to them but yeah i just did that as long as you have looting in your main hand and the bow in the the off hand then the looting effect will work on any mob that you kill with the bow while the looting three stories in your main hand but uh, we're gonna make them you know what we're gonna turn all this into water bottles hey there's a lot of water we're gonna get this out of my offhand so I don't accidentally shoot one of my kitties. We're gonna fill up three, even though I should not have filled up three. Just drink one. Just to get hydrated. We'll grab a awkward potion. Got uh, one gas here. I think I have more upstairs. I will check right now. I think I have more gas tears upstairs. Yes, I do. I store my gas tears. I have 30 gas tears. Now it's gonna be 29. You know, gas tears are really good. They kind of look like iron nuggets, but you know, there is a big difference in the, uh, the texture. And, yep, there we go. We're going to put a gas tier in. I think one more will get rid of, I think one more potion brewing effect will get rid of all the, uh, we'll get rid of all the, uh, what you call it, the, the fuel source for the, for the brewing stand. And a gas tier mixed with these potions will make regeneration potions, but only for 45 seconds. But I will extend that effect with redstone, and that's the last of that. We're going to put our healing potions in here. Disorientation. Don't ask why I have 11 emerald ore in there. Just never got to really fortune that. But yeah, we're all, we're all out of fuel, which is fine. We can turn these blaze rods into blaze powder if we want. And it makes it for 1 minute and 30 seconds. So regeneration basically regens your health every 2 seconds, I'm guessing. It regenerates your hearts. It's a good potion effect. We got a uh, few positives. No negative potions needed. But I think, I think that will be it. But besides that, we need to store some extra bottles in there. Because I'll, I'll show you why. We're going to bring glass bottles into the nether. And, uh, is there anything else that I need to bring besides potions? I think I'm going to bring a trapdoor if I have one. If I don't, then I can just make one. It's not that hard to make a trapdoor. 
Let's grab a crimson. Turn these into trap doors. I'll bring those to another. I'll also show you why I'll bring trap doors. But I think that's pretty much it. And we could just take our ender chest with us with the right pickaxe. Just so touch, and we'll just do that. That right there, and that will be the end of today's episode. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure you hit a like and also subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hit that notification bell if you want to get notified of more Minecraft content. See you guys in the next video. See ya.